Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Elusive. So we have a couple of cards that just got buffed in patch 2.5 to try out with this deck. First of all, of course, is going to be Lulu, which is now going to be a 3-3. So uh, that's, a, that's just a good thing where it doesn't help protect Lulu when it's attacking, but it does help Lulu trade better because you know you'd have like your two three lulu then your opponent would play like their three mana three three fiora or their avaros and trapper or just you know whatever uh, kindly tavern keeper whatever three mana three three they had and you know they're draven and your lulu couldn't couldn't trade with those and that was always really sad now at least lulu will trade with other three drops so that's always pretty good um you know iron ballista like all that kind of stuff right like it, it was uh tough at lulu being a two three to uh trade with stuff but now lulu is a 3-3 so that's going to be sweet also we got a shadow assassin um kind of buff with the uh switch in the stats it was a you know of course it was a 2-2 at first which it was very good as a 2-2 but then a 1-2 it just wasn't really playable at 1-2 because there's the one power attacking just really didn't matter but now it's a 2-1 now it's wiggly burble fish size at 2-1 and so now we're going to try it out again with the summon draw card um so we're going to kind of go to like old elusives, right? Like this deck used to be really popular um, and was one of the best decks, you know, basically a year ago, <laughs> you know, an entire year ago, last uh, February, March. It was really good. But we got some new stuff in here and we're going to try Lulu supporting these elusives, turning them into four fours. Usually with Lulu, we have a, like support challengers, turn the four fours, like the challengers into four fours that can kill other stuff. But now we're going to be turning big um like these, these like regularly sized elusives, turn them into big elusives with the help of Lulu. Uh, let's see. So we got this. We got one new card in here, Spoils of War, which is going to be a protection spell, also a buff spell. Going to mostly be the plus one, plus two. But if we do turn on Plunder, then afterwards we can get the plus two, plus four. But that's a permanent buff that could be really nice. That's you know like a. You, maybe we can save something it's kind of like like if you think about twin disciplines that can give the plus three plus zero or the plus zero plus three it's like if you're using that as the plus zero plus three to save something you can use like this spoils of war same mana you get one power two health but then it's permanent so that's pretty nice too all right anyway let's get to it let's try out some lulu elusives all right playing against burn so this is going to be a race Elixir of Iron is a good card in a racing situation. But of course we need to find more bodies. I obviously don't really like keeping Elixir of Iron if, we were, if I was going to have another Elixir of Iron and a Troll Chant. <laughs> so it looks like we're playing all in Zed. The other thing about this deck is like this deck's maybe a little bit better against some of the slower decks. Today is supposed to be lots of, you know, today's going to be lots of aggro with all of the, um, with the new format, um, and like the new metagame, lots of people like to play aggro. I'd, ha I'd have to say we've probably played against like 60 to 80% aggro decks today. And maybe this deck isn't the best at racing other aggro decks. We'll see. Okay, so what's the best they can have? Mystic Shot? So if I Troll Chant the Draven and block, Draven's a 1-3 and I have a 3-4. So they can Mystic Shot and Spinning Axe, and then they would kill my Zed. So I guess it's... Oh, wait, no, but then I, I still have mana left, so I'd still have... I'd still have Elixir of Iron. So we're good. Right. I have all of these Elixir of Irons in hand. <laughs> My hand is Mono elix Elixir of Iron. Uh, let's see. Play Duo, play Omen Hawk. Hey, Krabby. That's probably worth it. Okay. This is a 
isn't going too, too bad for us. What's up, Lulu? Man, they, they've really buffed up Lulu. Lulu's a 4-4 four, four now? That's what I'm talking about. 4-4, four, four, Lulu. I think they can keep Jinx alive. Okay. All right, so I can open attack right now and maybe make like the Omen Hawk a 4 4. This is probably worth it. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Yo, grows the Green Glade duo twice. Could make Zed a 4-4 and then the other thing's a 4-4 also. I guess maybe I have to do that with this being a 5-4. I guess maybe I do have to just make Zed a 4-4. Jinx? Good. We get to deny something. Alright, so yeah, I guess it's 4-4 Zed. And then, so we're going to be attacking for five, eight. They'll never see us coming. Whoa, and so eight elusive, they kind of have to block everything else. Gotta rock with your name on it. If they take this, they go to one. Okay, I guess they'll go to one. No, all right, so that was a that was a Jinxes get excited. So they had all three Jinxes. But the good news is, as far as them drawing into cards, um, so they're out of Jinxes in their deck now because they just discarded it. And they've already used one Get Excited, so assuming they play three Get Excited, they're down to only two left to draw into. Now it's a party. Love it. Countering Super Mega Death Rocket, awesome. I think I can go to three. Yeah, I can go to three, right? Yeah. Now we're cooking. So they get two draws. Yeah, I guess it shouldn't have gone to three. I was thinking, I was thinking they were gonna have to draw two things, but I was wrong. They only have to draw one thing. Yeah, I should have blocked with an elusive. Cause I was also, cause I was thinking, okay, like if I block with one elusive, then they can use like their burn spell to kill my other elusive, which is basically the same as killing me, you know, with it being, cause I have to kill them this attack. But with me having the Lulu to make the elusive larger, that was just wrong, so. Okay, cool. Not punished, never punished. Always rewarded. None escape their shadow. My thing dies to a removal spell. That removal spell would have killed me also. So like it either way it doesn't really matter if I block or not, because like the burn spell, you know, would either kill me or kill that thing which which effectively kills me. But I didn't take into consideration Lulu making it a 4-4, so that not being the case, so I definitely should have blocked because Lulu make it makes it a 4-4. All right, back to Lucian Azir. We played against a bunch of Lucian Azir today. Lots of aggro. This is a good hand. I got one, two, three. It's just, do I want to keep Shadow Assassin as like another three? And I think at that point, no. I think we want to look for like combat spells and stuff. So I'm sorry, Shadow Assassin. Well, if you really want to stay in the hand, I guess you can. 
I would prefer to draw this life blade one turn later, <laughs> right? So that our Omen Hawk would have made it a 3 3. That would have been better. Well, we got lots of units, but no spells. Lots of units. Yes. Love it. They actually they don't have Lucian or Azir. Wow. No Lucian, no Azir. Oh, there's Azir. them down to five. To the streets! Show them the might of our army! Shows of power excite the people and quell our enemies. That's a lot of things to do. Do I need to like write that down? Down to six. Everything's better with company. Says you. All right, there we go. Lululusives. Fast games. <laughs> 2 and 0. Oh. All right. Yeah, it's just all Lucian, Azir, Azir Lucian today. Lulusives. All right, well, this hand's not as good as the previous one. Keep Zed. Definitely thought I'd keep it like the, the four mana elusive, but we kind of need Omen Hawk was perfect, so I'm glad we mulliganed that four mana elusive so we drew into the Omen Hawk because that's perfect. I was gonna say that we need like protection and stuff. There we go. See, we got the life blade back at 3 3, which is better. Life blade. Doesn't mean you know I'm not attacking with this, but I guess with sharp sight. Because yeah, I could have just attacked and then gone spoils of war, but I guess that that would be going into sharp sight also. Man, another Lucian. Oh, that's perfect because that's the best card they could play, and they still have sharp sight available. Yeah, that was good. The shared spoil is looking pretty bad. I wish it was Troll Chant. It's for a different matchup, though. Our draw is not so good. Deny, deny, shared spoils. <laughs> spoils of war are pretty expensive. Consider just casting this thing into give the top three things plus one plus one. Today we turn the tide of war. I 
Please play Cataclysm. Let me let me deny it. Just cast Cataclysm. Let me deny it. Let me use some mana. No. Ugh, this is so bad. They picked the wrong row. Yeah, we just we had a hand that bricked, for sure. The cliffs themselves are my barracks. Mine. <laughs> I have many faces. Those ears are so big. So beefy for a three drop, six health. Wow. Embrace the shadow. I wasn't really expecting that. Okay, so we get to deny something. Good troll chant draw. Alright, so this was a... Yeah, this is a bad attack by them. Because then these all die... And Lucian levels up, but Lucian, you know, Lucian gets the extra attack here because you know, like die, 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 like it's like this one dies three, this one dies four, this one dies. They don't. So basically, what I'm saying is they they should just do like open attack with everything. Like how are they going to do a normal attack? Because then they'll get another attack token, and then they do the scout attack afterwards. Because then they get an additional attack. So they could have had three attacks this turn. They're only going to have two attacks now. They wasted Lucian's extra attack. <sighs> Not sure it's gonna matter. I'm still kind of left with a bunch of nothing. This is mercy. Well, thank you for attacking with the Dune Keeper and not getting that extra two one, and making a zero seven six. I am a true master. I sense fear. Where are you going? So they get an additional attack. No, so uh, so yeah, if you're wondering why I didn't deny this the one mana Radiant Guardian here is because we just died we died to a, a rally card. And so I, I I thought that like how they weren't really playing that much, I thought it was kinda of likely they had another rally card. And so I was saving the deny for the rally.
That's what I was doing. That Lucian draw was, was perfect, though. You know, after we killed the first Lucian. And they had that, that top deck second Lucian that was perfect. GG's. Yep, back to back to Lucian Azir. Oh, it's Nick. Nick's cool. Kind of like last time. We'll just keep Zed. Good. Love the Omen Hawk. Like the combat spells. But yeah, maybe this wasn't the best day to play the elusives against <laughs> only only aggro. So I know that's not like the best trade for me, but maybe there's a chance they didn't challenge and I got to block one, but two, oh, we got th four three Zed. I had like this other three two Zed in play and I don't want them to keep that thing in play and be able to, um, right, I didn't want them to be able to challenge my Zed with that bird. And so I just trade, I just traded one drops. But it's looking like a leveled up Lucian. My name will echo through the ages. This deck definitely has their champions at such a higher percent, such a higher rate than any other deck I've ever played against. Every game is just Lucian and Azir every single game. I don't even know if they have other cards in the deck. I know, right? It's crazy. Because we've, we've played against this deck probably about eight times today in the 20 games. I think we've, I think we've played about, against about eight times, and I don't know... I think we've we played against one opponent that didn't play a Lucian. I think about every other opponent's played both Lucian and Azir. And... Mm, that's not as fine. Okay, there we go. Finally. No. Arise. I have risen. And with me, Sharima. Alright, well, Zed, you're gonna have to do a whole lot. My life for the order. My shield is yours. Alright. Good game, Lucian. GG's. And Lucian is here. What a surprise. People don't have much of an imagination, it seems like. Ooh, this is going to be an expensive hand. Alright, so here comes turn 2 Lucian, turn 3 is here. Yeah, I knew there was going to be a whole bunch of aggro today, but I, I didn't expect it to only be one deck. Um, but yeah, like this aggro, as we talked about in like the other videos, aggro is, is certainly the most popular thing 
um, day one of a format change. But I, I did not expect only one deck over that, though. sharp sight they can kill any of these yeah so basically you just you can just play i'm surprised there's like not many more like usually you have more people playing like shadow isles or you know like the anti-aggro deck um we didn't really run into that too much surprised not to see more of that kind of deck. <laughs> yeah i think we had one opponent that didn't have both champions out of Around 10 people playing this deck today. The cliffs themselves are my barracks. <laughs> yeah, you're real original, opponent. Congratulations. Maybe I should be doing the minus on this Bright Seal Protector instead. Okay. <laughs> I guess this is not the time to be playing these elusives because we, we're we're certainly slower than them. That's not a good matchup for us at all, as we saw with those games. And so you know we lost to it three times there. Um, but uh, yeah, that. You know, we knew it was going to be all aggro today. You know, we faced that deck, I think, about 10 times out of the 20 we played. And I think I probably should have just, I guess, played a different deck. Because this, you know, this is a, a neat deck, but it's not going to be good in the aggro matchups when we face five aggro decks. We did go two and three with them, but uh, it's going to be a tough matchup for us there. Uh, so it's too bad we didn't get to really show the deck off against anything else uh, facing... Uh, the one Draven Jinx and then the four Lucian Azirs. Um, so I didn't really get to show it off. I Okay, so to, to make that matchup better, I think like a card like Shared Spoils has got to go, right? Like that's going to be too slow. We're never going to play that. We need more, uh, like another Troll Chant and just like more buff in general, like to help out Life Blade and just to help things stay alive. There's not too much removal in these regions, but uh, other cards like Brittle Steel is like just another card that can just be a nice like cheap uh card that like you know is really good against lucian as far as like blocking lucian and, and things like that um that's another card here you know like we don't have access to any kind of like cooling strikes or any, any real good way to get rid of azir we just kind of have to erase azir but um you definitely wouldn't really want to play shared spoils right like i think that's that's like out of all these cards that's one that for sure could go but more like protector buffing up life blade or other things buffing up life blade spoils of war looked pretty bad in the deck you know I, that was a card that i was trying out but this definitely looked too slow for what it gave because we can't really turn on plunder with this card so that card looked pretty bad um yeah so may you know like that that could be some you know maybe something that's a, a little bit better buff card like a, a fury of the north uh could have done some more work probably for an additional mana yeah, probably, yeah. So, oh well, there we go. That was uh, Lulu Elusives. Could play, like, some some bounce spells in this kind of deck. Could play, like, some Will of Ionias, um, that kind of stuff. But those are usually better against your, like, Trundle Trindomir type decks. You don't really want to try to, like, reset, like, a, you know, bounce illusion that's going to level up. Like, that's not really the kind of the game that you want to play. All right, so anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. 
But thank you so much for watching some Lulu Elusives, and I'll see you for the next video.